Hello, Gemini's. This is a singles read. Um, this is to see what you guys can do to find your next love. All right? To attract your next love, even. Let's see. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see. Let's start with how you guys are currently. What's going on with Gemini's currently? Gemini. Mm, a lot of you like to travel. You like to stay on the move. Um, a lot of things that you do are uh, self-serving, which is what a lot of people do. But I think, you know, you guys are like, if something is not fun or you feel like it's not beneficial for you, um, you're on to the next thing. Okay. That is typical Gemini. And that is... Um, yeah, I didn't even ask the question, but yeah, um, I think a lot of you maybe leave situations prematurely. You know, maybe you don't give it, you know, enough time to see if it can get better even here with this devil energy. It's like instantly when something displeases you, it's like, uh, I'm, I'm out, you know. Let's see what kind of person you normally attract. Okay. Cars are trying to jump for my Gemini today. What kind of person does Gemini normally attract? Hmm. I think, you know, you guys end up in relationships where, you know, you are very attracted to people. Um, and I feel like it's people that you know, have something going for themselves here. Um, I think you're attracted to mostly the exterior, like the fun, the money, you know, where they live, um, somebody that likes to travel even. But I think you guys are attracted more to like, you know, what somebody can do for you, how they can like, you know, help you along. Okay. With the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, a lot of times you guys probably get really attached to people as well and end up in this like in this cycle with them because you see good things in them but at the same time it's like when they do something to piss you off and you know you're out so um, this is fixed signs as well Scorpio Taurus Aquarius um, and Leo energy here Hmm. I, I feel like you guys are attracted to people that like to stay on the go as well. Is what I'm getting here. But at the same time, you know, with fixed signs, you know, they can be homebodies. They can be homebodies. They like to stay home and chill too. So I think, you know, you like this nice mix in people. When you want to go, you want to go. When you want to be home, it's like, which is rare. But you like people that um, invite change. Okay. Let's see what you need to show off more about yourself. What does Gemini need to show off more? Hmm. I think that you can be, you know, <laughs> that you can be still, that you guys um, are capable of having a long lasting loving relationship where, you know, somebody fulfills you on every level that you will not be so eager to just walk away. More of your committed side, okay, loving side, emotional side here. Let's see what you need to contribute in a relationship. What does Gemini need to contribute? Hmm. I think I think this is not only speaking the truth, um, but I think it's like slowing down a little bit because this knight is not on a horse. Um, this knight is on foot. So this knight does not move that fast, okay? 
Um, this is somebody that, you know, they contribute the necessary the necessary um, conversations. Um, they get involved in conversations. They're open. They're honest. And they allow other people to do the same. I feel like this is like respecting other people's ways of thinking as well without, you know, just deciding to walk away when you don't hear something that um, that you may not like in that moment, okay? Let's see what you must accept about yourself or what you need to accept about yourself. What does Gemini need to accept about themselves? What does Gemini need to accept? Hmm. That <laughs> a lot of you, this is emotional um, immaturity. That, um, you know, you want love. But it's like, what are you willing to, um, what are you willing to really invest in love? What are you really willing to offer to someone? Is it going to be something substantial? Do you do this? Is this how you come as a page? Let's say you're 45 and you're coming as a page of cups then this is really emotional immaturity, okay? Because it's like, you know, you want somebody to shower you with love, but are you really willing to meet them with the same actions, with the same emotions, with the same contributions here, okay? Let's see what kind of love you guys need. What kind of love does Gemini need here? What kind of love does Gemini need? Hmm. This is something that is very grounded and stable. Um, somebody that's not here today and gone tomorrow. Okay. I feel like you need somebody that's grounded. I think you need maybe um, uh, maybe some earth in their chart. Somebody with earth in their chart to keep you kind of, you know grounded um, you need somebody that meets you halfway I feel that um, gives you everything that you need but you know they still have that air of um, that spark that you guys look for in people somebody that keeps you on your toes and they know how to pull you back in when you know when you're trying to like you know do things possibly that that may put the relationship in jeopardy this is somebody that can kind of talk you down that's very level-headed okay I feel like a lot of you guys want somebody that is financially stable here financially secure yeah Somebody that has a home already. Somebody that's, you know, just very grounded, stable, balanced. All right. Let's see if you guys are ready for love. Are my Gemini's ready for love? Let's see. Gemini. I think a lot of you are still needing to um, regroup. And I think there is some hurt that you are currently um, trying to get over. Maybe a lot of you just broke up with someone or either um, you're just still kind of holding on to that pain. But I think that um, for right now, a lot of you are still needing some rest here. Time, like a time out to think about everything so you can really like you know the truth of the matter. Maybe you guys did not contribute enough emotionally in your last relationship. Maybe you did not allow, you know, you weren't accepting of somebody else's point of view. You know, quick to cut somebody off. Maybe, you know, very aggressive here even with them. Maybe you gave up too easily for some of you, okay? And just, you know, left. Hmm. Let's see how you will find love here. 
How will my Geminis find love? By investing. By investing your time. This is investing your time and energy um, into situations here. Okay, with that Seven of Pentacles. Let's see what the attributes of your next partner should be. Ooh, okay, let's see. Page of Wands. Hmm. And the star. I feel like this is Aries. Aries, Aquarius. Somebody with um, strong fire in their chart. Somebody that um, does not take life too seriously. Somebody that does not take themselves too seriously here. But, you know, they don't mind, you know, making the first move or, you know, making plans for you guys. Taking that initial step here. But also somebody that has very healing energy that can kind of bring you back down to earth. Okay? I like it because, you know, Gemini's, you know, you guys are very, like, spontaneous. And I feel like, you know, fire and air can be combustible. Um, but it can also be so very invigorating you know keep you on your toes exciting and i feel like that's what a lot of you guys need um but they also need to have you know i think they need to have a, a, a good mixture of things going on but i think primarily the person that you need needs to have fire and air in their chart okay and i feel like aries primarily because aries are the babies of the zodiac and um i think if they have Aquarius in their chart, they will be a very good match for you guys, okay? So that's what I have for you. And um, I will be getting with you guys soon. Bye.